Our first speaker inspires so many with his ideas how we might learn in the future. Daniel Jung is not just an ordinary YouTuber with some of more than 100 million views on YouTube. Together with him, you really can rock your mathematical skills and your educational journey. And you also helped me during my bachelor exams, so it was really helpful. Thanks for that. Without any doubt, he is part of the new movement of educational bloggers. And he travels for you, the world, or Germany. Like, for example, this week he was in Berlin, Hamburg, Cologne, and last week he was in the University of Wittenherdecke with the mission to get an update for the educational system. Daniel also teaches and supports major companies in fields such as learning, communication, innovation processes, and in lectures and speeches, he is focusing on the future of learning and the future of work. And he's also really good on YouTube videos, so every time you can see a vlog, and I think also like today, he's doing a vlog where you can all see and be part of his journey. Please welcome on stage, Daniel Jung. Well, thank you for the introduction. My mother couldn't have write it better. Um, thank you, Team Q, for having me. It's a great pleasure. Um, for those who follow my content quite a little bit know I love to get an interaction with you, so this 20 minutes will be my pitch. Um, I will be here. Last year, actually, I did a horrible mistake. I left after the second day. I won't do this uh, failure this time. I will be here up to Sunday. Um, so I want to do with most of you hardcore Q and A, and um, I think some of you don't know what I'm doing, uh, even if you told a lot of what I'm doing. Education is my passion. That what drives me, what gets me going out of bed in the morning. Probably your first view was on the exponential curve. Every time I'm talking to students, um, I'm telling them, this is what you have to understand. 2018 is the tipping point where everything is going crazy. I use all my socials um, not only to tell something about math, but since last year, what's happening in the whole education system, why do we have to change it? I'm vlogging a lot, but not about skateboarding or beauty and fashion, but right now I'm filming this whole conference and I'm telling um, all the students, all my crowd, um, what you have to deal with. Um, I know when I'm uh, speaking about what I'm doing, not everyone is believing it, so I have some slides like this. That's at University of Aachen, when I come and talk a little bit of mathematics or education, and we are rocking the stage, we have fun. My main claim is let's rock Mathe. It's like black milk, um, it, it's like a rubbish, but Somehow, uh, with all my YouTube tutorials, I could it make happen that all the people say, well, mathematics, this beautiful, this beautiful topic is now what I'm loving. Um, you, on the top right, you see me at a kebab store in Stuttgart, where some guys come to me and say, can we do a selfie? So it's now a time where people want to do selfies with guys like me, who in the bright mass, mass are doing education tutorials, not beauty, fashion, sports, etc. It's now the point that it's, it's very important to do this education, let's rock it thing. Um, probably you are familiar with, with Yodel on the, on the left. It says Daniel Young saved more asses than doctors and gyms together. In the middle, uh, I'm called Justin Bieber of Teulas. You can, yeah, Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> On the right, give, give him a, um, a medal. I, I show you that because you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> that, that's not a picture of mine. A mother sent me it. <laughs> With a huge letter, thank you for saving my life and the life of my kids because I was able to learn with my kids via YouTube with your tutorials. So it's really going crazy, but there's also a serious life. Um, it's hardly to, 
to recognize. It's with Thomas Baham, uh, founder of Code University, a panel discussion about the future of education, why coming together, um, why are such events so grateful and so important. That's at Online Marketing Rockstars. Now education is at a point for all you guys who want to do a startup. Why do you have to deal with education? Why do you have to educate to get, at the end of the day, the end consumer attention? That's at YouTube Brandcast, where all those brands are sitting in the crowd, BMW, Mercedes, etc., etc., and I try to tell them what's the beauty of education, why, why you should push it a lot more. Some facts, um, at the best day, I have over one million students who are learning with my content, not only online, but also offline, thanks to my startups I'm involved in. I will go to that a little bit later. I invest hardcore in more content, content to educate. Somewhere over here is Chris, who's filming my whole story. Uh, my mother said, um, oh, that's crazy. Um, the vlogs you are doing have not so much clicks. And I said, mother, 10 years ago, you said your math tutorials have not so much clicks. So she's, she, she doesn't understand what I'm doing by investing in filming all my story, where I'm involved in what, what I'm doing for projects, um, why I'm going to these conferences, why do I engage with all the all my great community to push them to do more in education. So for me, it's quite a little bit for those who don't know Gary Vaynerchuk. I'm always saying, please type in Gary Vaynerchuk, watch some of his content and you will see what's happening over there in the US. Um, he's doing his like a, a print master for the new CEO who is filming all, all the stuff he's doing and he's educating a lot. Um, that's a quick journey of mine. After 2002, 2003, the world crashed, internet bubble, I created a local business dealing with face-to-face -face help in mathematics. Um, while studying, I was more working in my own startup. And some years later, around 2008, 9, after the world crashed again, I said, oh, this video thing on YouTube, that could be something. Remember, 2009, it's like pre-internet. And I was, I was sitting 8 o'clock in the morning, Mondays, in university. I said, no, that, that can't be my future. So I was typing in YouTube, not for beauty, fashion, etc., but for mathematics. And I watched, wow, these great guys from MIT, Stanford, was giving all the lectures for free, and then it was possible Sunday in the evening, half naked on my couch, to learn mathematics even better. So I said, that, that has to be something, and I decided to record and record five minutes tutorials because what I didn't like was one, one and a half hour lectures. So I want those learning nuggets. And I said, so let's produce five minutes tutorials, give it away, for free on YouTube, see what happens. Luckily, a lot of you are watching those videos, and so you can build a brand by giving value for free on the internet. Um, mathematics is not such a sexy thing, but somehow I could solve your pain. Right now I have over 2,000 tutorials sorted in playlists, um, you can do your stuff, and while everybody was crying, oh, now Daniel is saying all is online, nothing is offline, I built a co-working space in my hometown, Remscheid. Who doesn't know Remscheid, this beautiful town? The first startup really crashed because up to today, no one is knowing the word co-working co in my town. But I used the experience in one of my next startups. Luckily, I had good incomes from the first startups, so I built a little tiny um, venture firm where I want to help if someone over there has a great idea dealing with education, come to me, let's talk, how can I help you? How can I, how can I provide it in my community to help you get bigger? One of the best things I started three years ago was study help with a clear concept, three days offline courses to pass your exam. That was the elevator pitch. Three years later, 800 courses later, we are now opening 
offline stores called, called academies where I use my experience of my co-working space because the architecture of the school system with the huge classrooms, what was all good in the industrial age, is now over. So probably most of you will work in the next years in such environments like co-working spaces. So we built those academies like co-working spaces and we implement not only the new learning coaching, so what is the teacher do now? He's coaching, not teaching. And we implement coding courses in a joint venture with, Fraun with Fraunhofer Institute and Google. So the new topics are as relevant as what you have to do actually by changing the architecture, how those environments are built. I combine it right now all in my Daniel Young Academy. So right now I'm calling out for the new education ninjas. Um, I need people who do content with me and they are writing me, Daniel, how can we, can we, can we work together? And I say, well, call me, let's talk about it. What are you doing? What are you providing? in the internet with the focus on education. So here are the new topics. I'm talking a lot with politicians, with uh, teachers, with professors, and they are all happy when, when they have internet in school and university, and I say, what are the new topics? Coding, robotics, new skills like questioning, answering, talking, debating, and the key technology. I know it's very early for some, who say, ah, artificial intelligence mm, is right away. I can tell you by talking to a lot of those guys in this area, in 2018, everything is going crazy and artificial intelligence is at a point where every one of you have to deal with it, whether you're an investor, an, a CMO, a co-founder, uh, whatever, because the point is now three things mathematically come together, big data, high-performance computing, and deep learning architecture. Those three combined is the progress in, an, in AI. And whatever you have as an idea to pitch, you have to deal with it. And you have to, this day, if you haven't it until today, type in, after some glasses of wine, actually, type in artificial intelligence and get some input why this is far more changing the whole game than electricity 100 years ago. So why come together by all those artificial intelligence and robots and Pepper and etc.? Because of this, it's doing more events, changing the game, what are we doing, inspirational keynotes, um, workshops, the topics you need for your life. I'm praying and I'm, I, I produce this content because I want to do pressure on the politicians that they see this is the future and we have to change dramatically what's happening there, all in the bright mass in schools and universities to push those events a lot more. The future is, for me, individual and creative. We can't use it in the basic system, take in the bright mass the um, universities or the schools, you have those big classrooms, um, mostly you have no internet. Um, you can say now, ah, let's do programming courses. Who should do those courses? What is about technology? Everyone is crying now, oh, all my data is, is, is away. So to come to this point, to become an, a system with individual and creativity, we have to build something new, like Thomas Bacham is doing with Code University, like I'm doing with academies. Hopefully, some of you have some idea to build a workspace uh, with whatever. Tell me that when we do Q&A. Social media education, that's a whole new combination. Um, they most ask me, what do you mean with social media education? I say, we have we have to push more of you to provide value via those key platforms, YouTube, LinkedIn, Musical.ly, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. If you're building a company, use those socials, not only to say, hey, here's my new startup, I'm doing this, I'm so good at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Provide value to get the attention, to bring real value into the world, and you will see how thankful everybody will be 
you will be fined in the internet, and then, at the end of the day, you can place your product. For me, it's the biggest chance for Europe to... In, we are famous for engineering, so why don't we push more education engineering? It's a hard combination when I tell this to corporates or whatever, what do you mean with education engineering? It's right now, I'm testing it in a new platform for myself, where I'm combining videos with small tests, with tasks, with community engagement, all those snippets coming together at the right time when you need it. See, in 10 years, we will have a Spotify or Amazon Prime for education. Hopefully, one of you will buy it, build it, and I will be in, or I build it. Um, if, if we don't do it from Europe, it will be Spotify, Amazon Prime, whatever, who are screening the market, who is producing content, we have the best house, and with artificial intelligence, at some day, you will learn your new topics, for example, via Spotify, and at Sunday, 7, 7 o'clock, Spotify will tell you, hey, it's the best time for you to learn. Here is, the, here is your new snippet. It's perhaps a YouTube tutorial. Here is a new text. It's coming from Wikipedia, whatever. And today at 17 o'clock, we found a MOOC, a massive open online course. Go in there. It's right up to you. And you will say, holy shit, how did you know? Because of artificial intelligence, of big data, etc., etc. I'm, I'm telling all the schools, all the universities, let's produce content, let's produce snippets, give it, give it for free away, build some houses around it. It's very hard to find the producers. But see, I have over 2,000 videos um, um, dealing with mathematics. Somebody has to do it. So hopefully, someone of you will say, well, I want to provide value in what topic ever. So let's do hardcore Q&A. What do I mean with this? Those of you who, f who follow my content quite a little bit will see me at conference like this speaking with a lot of you. So ask me everything. Um, what, what do you mean with future of education? What's the role of artificial intelligence? What's the future of marketing? Everything is changing right now. I'm, I'm talking to, to Google, what's happening there with all the big brands who have 80% of their money in TV and print and shifting it just a little into Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc. In the next three years, when this whole money from the big, big brands will be shifted into the new environment, everything changes and it will be dramatically expensive for small startups to invest in these, those platforms. So this is the greatest time ever for you to deal with startups, to do a startup for your own. And I hope I can help you quite a little bit by talking to you, by interrogating with you. And if I can reach one of you to be aware of this, become exponential thinkers. Most tell me, oh, it's too fast, it's, everything is happening. Yes, that's the exponential growth. You have to change your mindset. The last 200 years, everything was okay in the industrial age. We were linear thinkers. You have a, a corporate, 40, 50, 60 years, everything is okay. But now, in shorter, shorter times, more and more is changing. And so you have to change how are you working? How are you educating? How are you, are you educated? How do you come, become knowledge via the internet, via whatever? learning nuggets, become better and better every day, working in small teams. So the key for you is to understand the transfer from linear thinkers up to now, becoming exponential thinkers. So it's a lot of stuff. Talk to me about whatever. Um, I'm trying to provide as much value as I can. I'm filming everything you can Go to my channel, not only mathematics, even if you love mathematics more, I try to give the best I can, and I really, really, really looking forward to the next two and a half days. Thank you very much.